Welcome to Module 5 of our course. In this module, we'll discuss web parameter tampering attacks. These types of hacking events occur when manipulated parameters are passed to script, for example through GET or POST, and affect the functioning of a service and lead to unpredicted script reactions. Critical information is commonly referred through hidden form fields. This is especially true of web applications integrated with external payment gateways. A malicious user may exploit this occurrence by intentionally modifying transferred data. If the information is not verified server-side, the functioning of an application could be affected. Let's take a look at a sample script designed to illustrate this problem. You can see here a page confirming the purchase of item number 1234. After clicking Confirm, the purchase will be executed, and a confirmation message will be displayed with the transaction price. Let's now see the HTML source code used here. As you can see, a form is generated which contains an item identifier, and surprisingly, item price. Let's try to change the values passed in the form. For this purpose, we'll use the live HTTP headers add-on. First, we need to intercept an HTTP request to the service and use the replay function to change the query and alter the values of the referred parameters. You can see here the content of the form referred by post along with the price field. Let's try to change the value. As we can see, the price displayed by the script has been changed. If this information was not only displayed, but also used for other purposes, for example transferred to a payment gateway, or used to charge an account, a user could try to deceive the application and modify the amount paid. Remember that critical information shouldn't be made available to users. It has to be stored server-side. All information referred to users may be tampered with and modified by them. This is why it cannot be relied upon. Unfortunately, many websites still use hidden form fields to refer data to payment gateways. After a transaction is completed, they don't check if the actual transaction price equals the expected sum. If critical transaction data is passed client-side, its integrity should be verified by hash functions or other cryptographic mechanisms. That's all in Module 5. Thanks for your attention. In the next module, we'll focus on the path and information disclosure vulnerabilities. See you there.